All right, I don't know how many people are gonna see this and I personally don't care. It is one of the things I like about YouTube. It allows me to upload videos that no one will see. And it'll still allow me to upload crap like this that I want to. Okay, so my family finally swapped over to Cox. The main reason why I wanted to go to Cox was because whenever we had severe weather and whatnot around around my state, the satellite will, will always go out. And that was one, one of the very few things that I liked about having an actual hard line to watch t to watch TV. Whenever there's heavy storms, tornadic crap and whatnot, I can, I can still watch TV without it going out since I have Cox. But now I'm really, re but I've been really regretting it because I've never had all this bullshit that I'm currently having with uh, direct that I'm having with Cox. I never had this with Direct TV. So right here, I got this bullshit right here. All right. So are you thinking, okay, the channel may be down? Well, I'm gonna go over to my father's TV. Turn it on and go to the exact same channel on my father's TV. He has the uh, DVR box. We have the two, uh, we have the two, uh, little satellite box things and the TV does not want to turn on. There we go. I, to, I keep remembering that the R, that the, uh, that the IR sensor for this TV is on, is uh, over here, not over here. Then again, this is my father's TV, and I never actually use this thing. And this is another thing I hate about Cox. I'm still trying to get used to the cha to the new channels, and I have them, and I have my favorite channels put in the favorites. But instead of the fa but instead of my favorites just staying to just to my just to my box, it's throughout the whole house. I'm pretty sure DirecTV had the exact same feature and it stayed on your own satellite box. It didn't get spread throughout the whole uh, house network like it does with DirecTV, like it does with Cox here. Okay, so I was watching Science Channel. Here's Science Channel. And oh look, it works. I get the full satellite channel, uh, not satellite, science channel, sorry, without any problem whatsoever. Okay, so here's another thing. This bullshit right here. This is complete and utter bullshit. You know why? Because I have the weather channel. Because we have the weather channel on our stupid package. And yet, it's giving us this. So, let's see what happens if I go to here on the weather channel. On my father's TV. The main reason why I'm not doing anything with uh, my mother's TV or my TV is because I want to see what will happen on my father's end because he's the one with the uh, whole with the actual DVR thing. Oh, it's giving us the same bullshit here. Interesting. And now here is one thing. I have to do this practically every... I have to do this now once or twice a week. Sometimes I have to do this every single fucking day. It is so ungodly annoying and 100% unacceptable. I have to go to my wall outlet. I gotta pull out this big ass power brick. Holy fucking hell, this power brick. And then I have to shove it directly back in to the wall socket again. 
I have to wait for this stupid box to reboot and hope to God everything works. He's not even displaying the time. What a piece of shit. Give me a second. Is there a reset button on here? No, there is not, but there's a hard disk spinning. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is done too. Pull the power. And then plug it back in. It's not just me that has to do this. My mother and father have to do this either, do this exactly too. They can put up with it, but I can't. The main reason why is because way because I used to have clocks way back when they had those big silver boxes with the clocks on them. At that time, which is around seven years ago, we've never had this type of bullshit. I don't remember one time Cox ever dropping TV or ever having bullshit like this, where you gotta reset the whole freaking set up in the house just to get everything back into working order. Oh yeah, and another thing I've noticed. There are times when the TV goes out, and the exact same time when the TV goes out, the fucking internet goes out. And of course I have of course I here have internet so internet's working I know one thing for sure when I actually do finally get on my own, I'm not having fucking cocks. I don't want to go to DirecTV or Dish. Because at least with those companies, I won't have as much bullshit as I am with, uh, that I'm having right here with, with Cox. There once was a time when Cox was a legitimately great service. Not anymore. I really regret getting Cox, for TV that is. Internet wise, they're superior. TV wise, they fucking suck. They effing suck. And so on that Cox Reed sees this video by some chance, fix your shit. This is completely unacceptable. God, it took longer for this Cox box to boot up than my than our old Direct TV setup. Our old Direct TV box is booted up within a within like a minute and a half. This thing took upwards of three. Okay, let's see what happens if I try to. And of course now I got the side. Of course now uh, science channels working. And the guide, oh my god, is the guide fucking laggy. 
The guide on DirecTV ran, runs smoother than the guide for Cox. It's incredibly effing slow. Oh, look! Now the Weather Channel works! I just had to go and fucking reset my box! <laughs> fucking unacceptable, Cox. And also your contour stupid mic mute. The stupid, uh, my, the stupid remote control with the mic on them fucking sucks. That thing only works three, that thing only works 30% of the fucking time. Normally, other, all the other times it fucking freezes and I have to force shut down my damn box just to get my, just to be able to actually control everything again. Seriously, Cox, you're, you're fucking pieces of, ugh, completely fucking unacceptable.